Okay, my name is Arliss White. I live over by St. Olaf Gunder area now. And 65 years ago was when I first met Emma Big Bear. We used to live at Cresco and we'd come down on vacation to visit her. My grandparents would take us there every summer. We'd go to the tent that she had on the river in Mar or McGregor area. And she would have beads and stuff that she'd give us. We'd give her fruit and stuff. And she was so happy to see us that she'd give us big hugs and kisses back then. And, and she was just so glad. She seemed like she remembered us every year. We've done this for about eight years. First Great. time I ever met somebody Indian ancestor. And it was, it was a thrill. I mean, my sister and I went together. The grandparents stood outside the tent there because they used to visit her. Cora and Oscar Mark is her names. But the farm that we went to visit was it's a century farm, it's over there now. So it, it was a good memory. We were looking forward to it. Here. Here. She lived on a tent on the river farm. McGregor. Whether she done it in the winter, I don't know. But we we always visited in the summertime. And that's where we had made her to start with. Then we did see her in the house there once in Marquette. But she was a sweet lady. She always Great. I'd love to see people respecting her and thinking of her and enjoyed the times we had with her. I just wished we would have been living down here at that time. We didn't move down to 56 from Crasco. But we knew her for 10 years, 11 years that we visited her before that. But she said she liked the best. So we always, each one of us, there's, we'd be in twos. We'd give her bananas. Every one of my sisters and brothers had the privilege to. She gave us a wrist um, beaded thing that she made, and I got it someplace in the house. That I should have wore it today, but you know how that goes. You put stuff away and you don't know exactly what's at. But yeah, she she was a sweet lady. That's all I can say. I mean, she. I'm glad she was able to stay around in this area to fulfill her dream of retiring and passing from this world where she was loved and what she loved. And it looks exactly like her. Yeah. Doesn't that sculpture is okay. super. Yeah, I, I, can, I mean, it just brought everything back. When, when I seen this in the paper, I couldn't wait. I knew I was gonna be here. We got a grandson coming from Afghanistan war tomorrow. And we're getting together tonight. And Emma would have wanted that. She would have wanted me to came here today. And I wanted to come here today. It brings me back to my ancestors' time too, you know, it's past. You know, they ain't as famous as Emma Big Bear was, but you know, them people went through tough times. Every generation goes through tough times, some way or another. Yeah. But the generation nowadays, we don't really know tough times like they knew back then. From what I gathered, she wintered in the tents there sometimes. And of course, we never came down in the winters. It was the summers, we'd be two weeks to trade off for my brothers and sisters. Two weeks every year we'd be in the summer, and that's the first place we took us always down there to see her. And bringing back memories.